and welcome to this brand new video. Today we are going to Denmark. And when we think about Denmark, we think of course about Legos. Legos, Hans Christian Andersen, Little Mermaid, and one of the happiest countries in the world. And today we're gonna make a traditional food suggested by Peter in our Twitch. Uh, we're gonna make Steaks Flesk Met Parsley Sauce. Or better said, roast pork with parsley sauce. <laughs> Let's make it! Yeah! Good, what we're gonna do now is with the meat... Well, the dog got super, super excited. We need to cut some nice slices here of the meat, of the pork. So we have nice little pork piece here, okay? Gonna do the entire meat like that. Ooh, I need a sharper knife. You sharpened it, I know, right? So we have nice, thick bacon, basically. It's basically bacon. It's like, mm, it's bacon. It's good. Very good. Okay, we're gonna chop this completely up. Let's do it. All right. Now we take a, the slices from the pork and put it in here. And I'm not so good with it. Blah, blah, blah. When we put it, everything in here, we put some salt in there. We put the salt in top on there. Like that. And then we then around the slices like this quickly. Okay, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> and salt again. Voila, and now we put it in the oven and it needs to be 175 degrees and it needs to be in a half an hour to 40 minutes. Now we're gonna do the fan favorite thing. We're gonna peel potatoes. Yeah, and I don't think anybody will like this. I think even in Ireland they're like, oh, peeling potatoes. It's it's horrible. It's it's horrible. It's time consuming. It's boring. There's nothing fun about peeling potatoes. Yeah, nothing. So. If you want to see the full documentary of me making all these potatoes, I can upload the entire clip if you want to. Press the like button. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. This is one person who was like watching the video was like, I'm interested in that. <laughs> He's going to be like, yeah, put all the clips there, yeah. No, thank God we're not with living too many people in one house. But yeah, we're going to, you know, I'm just going to fast forward, okay? And when I'm done with this, all the potatoes are done. Yeah, okay, fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So you go stand here and just do it like. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you choose another image. Fantastic. All right, uh, all the potatoes are done. Now we're gonna do some salt in the water. It says on the website, I don't know why it says a lot, little bit of salt water. I, in in. In, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. Lot and little bit. Yeah, it, it's com cartoflerne. Wait, wait, I have to say com cartoflerne. I on grede met riglet let salt cold vant. That's Danish. Well, I'm trying to speak Danish. But it says a lot lightly salt water. And of course, it depends on the size of the potato, yeah, uh, but then cook it about 20 minutes in uh, hot boiling water with a lot lightly salt water. Again, makes no sense, but sure. We're gonna just put the potatoes in there, one by one. Be careful because it's hot water, yeah. Be careful, always be careful with cooking, all right? Fantastico. So that's gonna be about 20 minutes. We're gonna have a little bit of a look to our Meat check, son. Meat check, yeah. Right. Let's start to look. 
Fantastic, looks better at least by now. And we have decided to give it a little flip. So you do the flip aronis. Is that a song also not from Denmark? I don't know. Flip, flop. I think it was from Denmark. Smells good. Like, yeah, it sounds like pork. Pork, bacon. It, yeah, it looks kind of disgusting though. Same that though. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like grey, boring pork. So, but of course, it will get nicely crispy. After a while, it's, it's only be on for what is it for 10 minutes in the oven ish, you know? So we do that. Good. The potatoes are cooking, and now we're going into the sauce, the parsley sauce. One yeah. of the most important things about this dish the parsley sauce. So we take making that sauce, and we need butter in there. I made it first, right? What do I need? Yeah, slowly melting. Slowly, slowly melting. Slowly. In the low heat, I had number two now that thing, um, so it's not super warm. Yeah, so for the people, they need to just put a low fire because it doesn't need to cook. It's nicely slowly start melting there. Everything like now it's melted all the way, so it's not anymore in the beast. Then we need uh, two spoons flour, but I do first one because I need to mix in it. Like, you know, so it doesn't have lumps. Lumps, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's put them up. Then quickly, mixing, mixing. Nice and smooth. Not any lumps in there. You can see it a little bit maybe in there. Then we put it the second spoon in there, like that. So then we have the second mix in there. So it doesn't have lumps in there, like that, just put everything. Yes, and the reason why you do this on low heat is because otherwise you basically start baking bread, okay? The flour will cook. When well, now this one is like all the way ready, we put two dl milk in there. Can okay, we start with two dl? We started to. Eat. Because maybe Peter, you can because Peter uh, suggested this to us. Maybe Peter, you can help and say this to us. It says on the website five dl of milk, so that's half a liter, right? Uh, but then it says put a little bit of milk in the sauce. Well, half a liter is not to me a little bit. That's a lot. That's a lot of milk, dude. What the hell? Okay. So now there's the two, two yeah, DL milk. So I leave it mixing it, and then you need to like uh, bubble it or like heat it. Uh, it's a little bit warmer, so this one can go yeah. a little bit up. Like a five minutes in there. Yes. Go. Alright, now we do bit, put the more tastings there, so I have actually some tasting, the milk and pot, uh, butter and the milk. Milk, milk. <laughs> milk, butter and milk. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, let's put it a little bit salt. And let's put a little bit baby. Like that. Butter chili. And citron, like this, right? So, how much to put? All right, then we start mixing it. Oh, oh, lemon juice, lemon juice. Oh, lemon juice. Lemon juice is different than peel. Here's the, all the tastings in here. You can see it's nicely bit not so running also, it's like but it's slightly running, thicker. Right? Yeah. slightly thicker, it's not like water. And then it's like 
much white, but a little bit green is also. Yeah, nice. first it looked like wallpaper paste. If you want to decorate your walls with paper, then it looked like that. But now it has much more color. Yeah. Yeah. Give me that one. All right. How does it taste? Because that's very, very, muy, muy importante. Muy importante. <laughs> There's the camera. Just saying. You're going so far away from the camera. How? Huh. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It tastes like a. What the was it? Wool paste. <laughs> I don't know what to put them more. I don't have enough of them. Some extra salt in it there. Some lemon there. Some pepper there. There's no way that that's enough flavor. Come here. Yeah. Uh, I know you have a different. Have a different taste, though, definitely. Yeah, that's fine. Just want to have a little bit of an extra kick to it because yeah. that was like. Milk. Well, I don't know what it tasted like. It's not real taste. Better? Oh, much better. Oh, I don't know I spoon. Yeah, this is your spoon. Oh. Yeah, it's much better. It's more kick in there. <laughs> so, put it, yeah, of course, everybody has his own taste. Let it because see, already like the, the first version yeah. of it, and it's completely fine for me. The, have a little bit more. Uh, everybody just do it for yourself, okay? Just put a little bit of salt pepper in there and then you think like, oh, now it's really good for yourself. Be generous with it, okay? Try my way. Always taste. Always, yeah, yeah. Never trust a skinny chef, okay? When you go to a restaurant and you see a, a, a chef that is skinny, never trust it for the very simple reason it doesn't taste his own food. Simple. And here we have our crispy bacon with potatoes in parsley sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? Um, let's do a taste test. Yes. So now we taste it. Um, first, go taste it some potato with uh, sauce. Dig in there. <laughs> Come back. It's good. I like it. It's not just dry, lonely potato. I have a little bit of sauce in there, so I have a little bit different taste in there. And I like it. I want to taste it. Bacon, meat, pork. No, it's just bad bacon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sticky. Moment there. Voila. Crunchy. Yeah, crispy. You need to be crispy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, okay, as you said, the potato. We're going for some potato and some sauce. Put a salt in there. It's not my most favorite sauce. It's not, it's not, okay, it's good. The sauce is good. Let's say it like that. But it's not my favorite sauce. I would never say I'm gonna do a parsley sauce with potatoes on a Wednesday evening in the middle of the week being like, like this. I do think that when I'm ever in Denmark, I would definitely order this because it tastes that good. Yeah. Would I make it again? Maybe, maybe. Bacon is good. I mean, what can go wrong with bacon, right? It's good, but the combination with the potatoes and the parsley sauce. I would say I miss some vegetable here, like like a carrot or 
something. It misses something, but hey, I mean, it, overall, we just have to say, for my opinion, it was good. For my opinion, it was good. Too. Very simple. It was a very good dish. It's very tasty. Is it healthy? No. Bacon, uh, bacon is very fat for it's, you. It's shitload of bacon. Of course, you don't have to eat all the bacon, but not only that. I mean, you make the sauce with butter. Also that, and still doesn't have vegetables. And no veggies. Yeah. So. It's delicious, it's absolutely great. Peter, thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, I, ca I can imagine that you love this, and I can imagine that your mom probably makes it ten times better than what we did. Uh, so yeah, I, it, was, it was a great success. It was a, definitely a great success. Yes. It yes. Is. Do you have more recommendations for us, what we should try? Please come to our live streams, or put down now in the comment section below, what do you want? Put a link there, and we will make a video about your recipe, what we can find. And we will do a taste test also from your country, so it can be anything. 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 What they should do by now is... Press the like button! And... Subscribe? <laughs> yeah, you should definitely subscribe, yes. <laughs> of course, uh, look down in the description below, there's like two links from our Twitch channels every Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we are live streaming as well. And then uh, we will see you in the next video. Alright. Thanks for the support, bye bye. Bye. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs>